Smart bins that tell you when they're full are set to revolutionise waste management throughout the UK. Egbert Taylor Group, which supplies 90% of the UK's metal bins to local authorities, is rolling out new waste management solutions that increase efficiencies, cut CO2 emissions and reduce collection vehicle movements. John Gibson got up very early for this report. It's 6am in Brighton, and at Brighton & Hove City Council's Waste Management Centre, the refuse collectors are heading out. Of course, running a fleet like this isn't cheap, but thanks to new smart bin technology, every vehicle that leaves this depot can target just the bins that are full, saving time and money by missing out those that don't need emptying. It's all thanks to these bin-mounted sensors, which enable the council to remotely monitor how much rubbish each bin contains. What you have here is an ultrasonic sensor. Uh, we've put it at an angle here, so it's aiming into the centre of the bin. Uh, every two hours, the bin will wake up, it takes a reading, and we set a pre-level threshold of what people want to say is 75% full or 80% full of the bin that they actually want to come out and actually uh, empty it. A traffic light based system highlights problem areas on an online map. For the council here what they've actually looked at is 0 to 65 percent is down as green so no need to react to it and anything over 65 to 85 is amber so it now goes on an alert and then you have red so anything over 85 percent we need to actually make sure that's collected today. There's also an SLA system that service level agreements that some councils will have to come out and service they can also put that into the schedule that makes sure that they are hitting their commitments as well. But as well as retrofitting sensors to bins, Egbert Taylor Group also provides solutions where technology is delivering multiple benefits, such as those found on Brighton's busy seafront. At the heart of the Big Belly is this solar-powered waste compacting device, which can increase bin capacity by up to eight times and cuts down on collections. That's great news for council taxpayers and the environment. This is a main dashboard. What we've got at the moment is we've got four on green, so that means all good, doesn't need to be emptied. This one's amber, so that will mean that the crew will go and collect that one shortly. It just means you can do much more effective planning. So if you look over here, we're currently running on 87% efficiency. And if we go to reports, and then collection summary. This is where the collections were before, which as you can see is just over 20. And since we placed the bins, you can now see that it's just under two. Were you surprised by how much of a difference it's made? Yeah, very. I think we all expected some reduction, but to see that sort of reduction, um, yeah, massively uh, changes the way we manage the operation. The system provides a complete audit trail using real-time data, transforming the way the council operates its waste and recycling services. We did two trials, one in the very busy city centre, including the main train station, one in a suburban setting. And what we found is that they require 80% less emptying trips than our conventional types of refuse bin. So that means we can free up our staff to work on other things, such as tackling fly tipping. The fact that they will reduce vehicle movements and lower carbon is really important in a city that is very environmentally aware. And this fits in entirely with the council's own drive to use digital technology to communicate with our residents in a more efficient way. The whole objective here is to enable local authorities to think smarter. There's so much downward pressure on a local authorities' budgets. Doing yesterday's job better is not sufficient. They need to find new ways of working. They can see the cost savings immediately. And after successful trials, Brighton and Hove City Council is joining in the ever-growing number of councils that are harnessing the power of digital technology to increase efficiencies, reduce the operational cost of waste collection and enable cost savings to be reinvested into other frontline services.